even though the name of the plugin is Serato Sample, Serato Sample is not a sampler. Now, what do I mean by that? If you're used to traditional hardware samplers, uh, you can actually connect analog or digital devices to many of them and record audio directly from that device, whether it be a turntable, a CD player, a guitar, or a microphone. You can capture audio and digitize it into the sampler, uh, like an MPC or an OASR-10 um, or some device like that. Serato Sample has no way to actually record audio into the plugin. However, it's a plugin. So your digital audio workstation that is plugged into has the capabilities of recording audio in that you could then take into Serato Sample. Now, I know I may be dating myself with this discussion even because uh, most of you guys probably use sample packs where you can go to places like Splice and you can download and purchase sample packs or individual samples that are already edited and then you can just pull them over into Serato Sample. That is absolutely a great workflow and one of the ways that I'll demonstrate. But if you did want to uh, record something that you had on a vinyl record or a CD or with a microphone or with instruments, you can actually just record it onto a track inside your digital audio workstation. And then I'll show you how to bring it into Serato Sample after you do that. But first, I want to talk about the supported file formats that Serato Sample can utilize. Um, and the list is many. I'm going to list them for the Mac and for Windows. So for a Mac, it supports AAC files, AIF files, MP3 files, MP4 files, M4A files, WAV files, OGG files, and FLAC files. And for Windows, many are the same, AIF, MP3, WAV, FLAC, WMA, and OGG. It also supports sample rates from 44.1 kilohertz, all the way up to 176.4 kilohertz and bit depths from 16 bit to 32 bit. Now that we know the supported file types and that you can't record directly into the plugin, but it's in a DAW so you can record into the DAW, I want to demonstrate how to get those types of files inside of Serato Sample. So I did a little bit of work off camera and I recorded a sample into Logic onto this track here that's called Sample. Before I recorded that sample, I saved the project. I also made sure to name my track before I recorded in the sample so that the audio file, the parent audio file that I created has that name. And so I recorded this little piece of audio uh, from a CD that I have some promotional music on um, that I can utilize to sample and not worry about copyright infringement or anything. And so it sounds like this. So you get the idea. And what I want to do is I need to get that into Serato sample. Now, what you can't do is just drag it from the tracks view right into Serato sample there. So what we want to do is go to our audio uh, files folder inside of our project folder. And in Logic, if I use the key command F here under all files in my browser, I can go to my project here and here are my audio files, and this is this file. This is the parent file of it. So from here, I can just drag this onto where it says load audio file. So I can just drop it onto the screen right there. Uh, Serato sample quickly analyzes the file, which it figures out the key of the file, the tempo of the file, and it actually synchronizes it to the tempo of my project. So you'll see the sync button on. We'll talk more about all of these features in a later tutorial, um, but you'll see the sync button on, which matches it to the tempo here. If I change the tempo here, you'll see the tempo changing inside of Serato sample. I'm gonna put it back at 120. And if I play inside of Serato Sample, and there I have the sample ready to use and work on. Now, if I want to get rid of this sample, what I'll do is right here in the toolbar, I'm going to click this eject button 
right beside the name. And now I'm back at the screen that we started with where I can load another sample or a different sample. 